Hello everyone and welcome to your final week here in the SPAD 5302 Human Resources class at Concordia University, Texas. It's been a pleasure to work with every one of you throughout the last seven weeks and hopefully you're excited about this final week as you get finished with the class. This week we're going to be talking about communication and the importance of being a really good communicator as a sports manager. One of the things that I want you to take a look at within this YouTube video, if you look down below, I have an address there for a great article I want you all to go take a look at. The article is entitled, The Dullest, Most Vital Skill You Need to Become a Successful Manager. And it talks about written communication from the perspective of some of the top CEOs in America, including one including Jeff Bezos from Amazon. I think you'll find that to be very interesting and perhaps gain a little bit more perspective on why I've been pretty firm in my grading and my expectations over the last seven weeks thus far. Um, this week we're going to look at the following objectives. We're going to look at the different factors that shape one's morals and ethics. We're also going to look at uh, reasons why employees might violate ethical standards. We're also going to look at proper fundamentals of presentation openings and closings. And then lastly, we will also look at Robert's rules of order and how you do meetings for your groups, whether you're the athletic director or in a position to lead an organization in sport. You're going to look at your reflection board this week and you are going to be asked to do a scenario where you go back to your college alma mater and you provide a presentation at your alma mater, wherever that might be, on why you became a sport professional. And you can get all the information in the classroom about what I'll be asking. And that's going to be interesting. I'm really be interested to see how you guys present yourselves in that uh, reflection board. The discussion board, we'll be looking at what factors shape one's morals and ethics. And we'll also look at ethical standards and why some people violate those ethical standards and getting your take on that. And then lastly, you have your final exam, the thing that will be your final thing here in the class. You'll, you'll have a certain number of questions. They're in the classroom. Um, I'm asking for you to provide reference material. Go out and dig up information to try to answer these questions to the best of your ability. Um, this is a, graduate school is very big on looking up information and trying to gain better knowledge uh, and also add to the knowledge that you already have. So I'm looking forward again to uh, seeing your final exams and grading your work. And I just want to thank you for the efforts that you provided this uh, session. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see each other down the road. And again, I'm here for you. My success is only dictated by your success. So please, don't be a stranger. Get in touch, and I look forward to seeing you down the road. Have a great